I wanted to jump for joy and spread the word. Um, basically, what we've been pushing for for the last two months became reality. She's back to where she belongs. Convicted child killer Terry Lynn McClintock is back in jail. After serving eight years for the abduction and murder of eight year old Victoria Stafford, McClintock was recently moved from a maximum security jail in Kitchener to an Indigenous healing lodge in Saskatchewan, sparking national outrage. What do you think of, of the Canadian system that allowed this to happen? Uh, obviously, there's loopholes. Um, criminals are easily able to find them, apparently. Um, Terry Lynn's one of the worst of the worst. She murdered a child, an innocent, innocent child at that. Like, it's... It, there's just no words. Rodney Stafford still lives here in Woodstock, where his daughter was lured from her school by Terry Lynn McClintock nine years ago and then brutally raped and murdered. Last Friday, he went to Parliament Hill to protest McClintock's transfer to a medium minimum security healing lodge, putting pressure on the federal government. At the federal government's request, Correctional Service Canada held a review of inmate transfers. In a statement yesterday, Ralph Goodale, the Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness, wrote, After careful consideration of the report, I provided direction to CSC to improve policies related to transfers of medium security women offenders to facilities that do not have a directly controlled perimeter. CSC will begin to implement these policies immediately. The government says more factors for transfers will be considered, including the length of an offender's sentence. Does it go far enough in your mind? Um, it's a good start. It's a good base to build from. McClintock pled guilty to Victoria's murder and testified against her boyfriend, Michael Rafferty, who was also serving a life sentence with no chance of parole for 25 years. Rodney Stafford says he is serving a life sentence too. How is life for you these days, Rodney? <laughs> on pause. It's been on pause for the last two months. Um, I've tried living day-to-day -day life the best I can, but um, when you have something like this going on in your life, it, it absorbs too much of your, your thoughts. Victoria Stafford would have turned 18 this past summer. Rodney now has an eight-year-old son, the same age as Victoria when she vanished.